Pardon any thunder you hear this entry. Uh, I don't, I can't work around that. Journal 215. I am small. I just can't part with mermaids versus zombies. I worked too damn hard. Hopefully, I won't get into much legal trouble this time. I'm drinking kafefe as I write to you. I've been making magical progression after progression and going on and doing things most mortals could only dream of. Foolish human, shame and pity beyond the human to degree that I, in bold assumption, am in fact mortal. That was my car cat impression. All joking and ridiculous hyperbole aside, I really am living a life some can only dream of. To find me, search for olives and locks and keys and breezing colds that outshine the sun and fire and brimstone and poorly thought out illustrations to magnitude my weird antics. I'm out there. And my adventures are too. You just need to know where to look. Also, Snow and Cammy have resulted to spreading lies I threw racial slurs at him when, if anything, Snow frequently calls me... Me, a kike, and Morgan, who I hear through the grapevine tree, might be wrong, is converting to Judaism a kike. So now the salt queen is a racist. Let that be known. Don't ask how I know this. It's long, tedious, involves a game that I am as waiter, which I'm totally not, but lying about, by the way. I'm turning into Session Grimm. I know, I know. Adam Snowflake turns into Rosalie Wowza. I'm good at what I do. Anyways, I have this game to fix, and I'm sort of excited, sort of wanting to puke and a little seasick about it. My mom yelled at me as we got into a fight, or rather, she got into a fight with Skater, my alter, who can yell back about mermaids and marketing. I have also been watching Let's Plays of Lock and Key, and I can't wait to cosplay Sherry Cohen. Did you know Cohen is a legit family name of my birth? Pretty cool, huh? I, too, am a clairvoyant detective magical girl with a Jewish upbringing and short brownish hair. What is it with Cohen's and creativity? The Cohen sisters now me? Also, my mad look at a love hoodie came in the mail. Fucking sweet, bro. Now I just need a cost band pro and we're all set. I still have to play his hive swat rube. I know he is a good boy. He is best boy. But given how the other Homestuck characters feel about me via my shit, I can't help but worry he'd dislike me too. I talk to fictional characters. I know, that sounds crazy. Off my ass and out of it. But to be honest, pop culture magic has given me the experience of a lifetime. Dave and I don't get along. Dave of Strider, the real dove strut. Mwahaha. I have so many aliases for my writing. E.E. Sun, Witter, Abigail, Lacrons, Lockett, O.B. And lastly, Slugger Loop. That's for porn. I'm actually am bragging a very creative, notorious for my species. That is, if you are human reading this. Knowing me, you just might not be joking. My sense of humor is extremely nonsensical, ironic, and outrageous, so if I ever start going off on that and tag it J, I'm not being crazy. I'm being funny, and I make that distinction because you never know with me. So yeah, I've been slowly leaning back into magic. It's a mess. I am too. I'm a mess. I'm happy to finally get my mermaids done, though. I adore them. I think when it comes to my work that I don't value my copyright. If anything, when it comes to my copyright, I implore people to remix and reuse unless I am overly protective of said work. Let's admit it to ourselves. Copyright exists to make money. I don't need that motivator. I need some kind of safety net in general, and I like being the official one to create what I do, but overall I don't care about that. I do writing because I want to be a writer, because I adore writing, and nobody else will tell my story no matter the commissions. It's sad but true. So I take the ideas in my head and plant them and usurp them. Myth wars, cookbooks, streamers, and my magical diaries, which isn't even the lot of it. So yeah, I guess that's all for now. I'm tired. Working hard, nay, I say, a workaholic. I got a destiny. I have to get to. Wish me well.